With the exception of Samantha Bee, late night hosts have recently failed to take Harvey Weinstein to task after all the explosive sexual misconduct allegations against him have dominated the news cycle. Stephen Colbert and Jimmy Kimmel struggled to hit the right tone, while Jimmy Fallon folded in a quip into one of his monologues. Initially, Seth Meyers had one joke about it, then did another sketch where he brought in his female staff writers to discuss the scandal. It was a surprisingly meek response from late night as a whole, despite the fact that the Weinstein news is squarely at the heart of their industry. At long last, however, Myers fully took the disgraced producer to task on Thursday night's show, giving Weinstein the burning closer look treatment. He started by discussing Donald Trump, a man who built his political career, almost entirely, on bullying in a way that has been explicitly misogynist. Myers began making the case, starting with Trump's treatment of Carmen Yulin Cruz, the mayor of San Juan, whom he called nasty in a tweet, among other insults. He then transitioned to Trump's treatment of the women who have accused him of sexual misconduct, whom he has called liars. Donald Trump is perhaps the most famous example of this kind of abuse of male power, but he is by no means the only one, Myers said. Then, it was time for the host to sink his claws into the Weinstein scandal. There have been reports that Weinstein, despite being fired from his company, shunned by Hollywood's A-list, and accused of sexual misconduct by over 30 women, is preparing for a comeback, which Myers mocked if Weinstein had himself cryogenically frozen and woke up a thousand years from now, the headline would still be too soon. Grief also poked a little fun with Weinstein's former legal advisor, Lisa Bloom, who tried to explain away Weinstein's alleged behavior by saying he was an old dinosaur learning new tricks. Dinosaurs don't learn new ways, they go extinct, Myers said. If you're a dinosaur then this is your ice age, buddy. Myers brought the segment home by painting a larger picture of the pervasiveness of systemic misogyny and male entitlement in every industry, pointing to Roger Ailes, Trump, and Weinstein all together. Men need to speak up and address their complicity in the system that allows these things to happen, he said, ending it on a bruising note. After all this time, the DIDNT take long for Weinstein to get fired after the revelations came to light, but Donald Trump has been found out for a year and we're still waiting, the late night host said. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Myers explained why it took a full week before he addressed the Weinstein news in depth. The initial news broke last Thursday, not giving him and his team much time to put something together, he said, I was not prepared to talk about something as tricky as sexual assault in a way that I felt would be appropriate that quickly. I felt we responded to it as fast as we respond to anything else, he continues, adding that his team worked hard on the latest segment. We spent a lot of time talking about how to address it. We're really lucky to have a diverse staff. It felt like we knew we could have a unique take if we had them do it, he said. And at WASNT is if we only had women work on the piece. We had our male writers work on it as well. Hopefully we came up with something that addressed a really tricky issue. So now we've heard what Myers had to say. What gives for everyone else? Get Vanity Fair's HWD newsletter sign up for Essential Industry and award news from Hollywood. Full Screen Photos Week in Fashion Cindy Crawford and Kaya Gerber close out Fashion Month One of the true stars of Fashion Month, Cindy Crawford stood out at the Chanel show wearing a tailored look from the house. Photo by Pascal Le Segretain Getty Images. Also at the Chanel show in, naturally, Chanel the Haim Sisters. Photo by Francois Gillet FBGT Images. Zendaya swapped her pink suit for a peachy dress by Ellie Saab. Photo by Steve Zak Photography Film Magic. Washington paired her over the knee red boots with a tweed dress by Faith Connection. Photo by James Devaney GC Images. Foy brought Gucci elegance to the BFI London Film Festival. Photo by Rune Hellestad Corbis GT Images. Tegan channeled a slightly perkier version of Wednesday Adams in a sparkling Mew Mew dress. Photo by Mark Piasetsky Images.